New disturbing details this morning emerging about the man who police say pulled off an unf unfathomable crime, holding a woman, a girl, hostage, captive for nearly two decades. And this morning, police have broadened their search into the property next to the home where J.C. Dugard was found after 18 years. Here's ABC's Mike Bonfren. The neighborhood kids nicknamed him Creepy Phil. Now that he and his wife face 29 felony counts for what he allegedly did to J.C. Dugard over the past 18 years, Philip Garrido, if convicted, will almost certainly die in prison. During most of Garrido's 58 years, criminal records show a pattern of abusing or manipulating women. His father is the first to admit his son was a troubled teenager. He was on LSD and he had a very serious old, uh, motorcycle wreck and hit his head. The first time he was caught was 33 years ago. A patrol officer saw a curious light inside an 8x10 storage unit like this one in Reno, Nevada. Police detective Dan DeMoranville says the patrolman knocked on the door. Being persistent, he kept banging on the door until Mr. Garrido opened up the door. And about that time, a naked woman ran out. And Officer Conrad, I believe, stuck a gun up the guy's nose, and that was the end of that party. Police say Garrido's storage unit looked like a scene from a porno film. Garrido confessed to rape and was sent to Leavenworth Prison. Even from inside the penitentiary, he convinced a woman by the name of Nancy Bosanegra to marry him. She has stayed with him to this day. He's a pervert. He should have been neutered while he was in prison. But he was paroled after only 10 years of a 50-year sentence. After his release, police say Garrido and his wife Nancy abducted 11-year-old J.C. in 1991, confining her in their home in Antioch, California. Neighbors are outraged at the police and a parole system that missed numerous opportunities to rescue the kidnapped young woman. For Good Morning America, Mike Von Frem, ABC News, Antioch, California. JC's stepfather, Carl Probin, was there on the day that she was abducted, watched helplessly from a distance, tried to chase after the abductor. He joins us here this morning. Good morning to you. I guess first I'm, I'm just wondering, every day there seems to be a new horrifying detail about this man it who has confessed to this crime. It seems that way. You know, I'm Are you learning angry? the same thing. Are you angry? Do you want to know more details? About him? Yeah. Not really. You know, it's been 18 years. I'm glad we got her back. I don't care about him. How is she doing? Everybody's wondering, where is she? What is she doing? She's in a safe place. She's being guarded, kept away from everybody. Uh, I haven't talked to her. You know, JC, I don't... Right. I haven't really talked to her. I talk to Terry all the time. Terry's your, your wife. Right. You're separated. Right. And basically, it's, it's a minute-by-minute minute thing. People don't realize how serious this is. You know, the girls have never been in school, never been to a doctor, never been to a dentist. Her daughters, your JC's, grandchildren. JC's daughters. Right. So, is there? I imagine there must be counseling, psychologists who are visiting. Can you can you paint a picture of what's happening now? How do you how do you try to undo just, that damage? I'm just trying to guess. I mean, they've got a whole team there. It's so it's so serious. I was told last night it's like it's going to be a long time. This is a one of a kind deal, you know, as far as dealing with this. It's going to take years. Yeah. People just, think, you know, can we get an interview tomorrow? Or they call me up all the time about taking pictures with them. I mean, are they serious? You know, it's like this is going to take. This, Months yeah. and months, years. How do you deal with this? I mean, people, this yeah. has never happened before. As I said, you're, you're separated from your wife. Correct. I, I can only imagine the toll that this has taken on a, a marriage over the years. Do you, would you want your old family back the way you once were 18 years ago? Of course. This has been pure hell for 18 years. This is like, the, I'm free now, you know, after they, ca they caught him in, it's like it's solved and... I, I thought, actually, when he confessed, there would be any trial, but I guess now they've uh, basically said, you know, not guilty, so we have to go through a trial. And at the time, 18 years ago, there were people, even in your own family, as I understand it, who thought you might be at fault, that you might be involved somehow. It, it wasn't my family. It was Terry's, like, mm -hmm. half-brothers, sisters, mm -hmm. uh, biological father. So now are people calling you and saying, we're sorry? I haven't had a chance to talk to any of them. Matter of fact, last night I talked to Terry and I basically told her I don't want these people back in my life. I mean, they actually raised money to hire a detective to put me in jail. And I don't want them back in my life right now. What do you know about JC's daughters? Um, we haven't heard very much about them. They, they didn't go to school, apparently? No school, no medical, no dental. Uh, I don't even know their names. 
That's how secret everything is. That's how sensitive this is. I don't know a thing about them. Do you have any sense for whether they will, I mean, I hope someday they'll be able to resume a normal life. I think they will. You know, I just think they've been so sheltered and sure. around him. I mean, they were clingy to him. And basically, um, they're upset about this because that's their father. You know, he's in jail. Uh, JC had explained to him like two days ago that she had been kidnapped. That's, she, they didn't even know that. What do you want to see happen to that man? Uh, hopefully never get out again. You know, people say when you want to hurt him or whatever. It's been 18 years. I mean, I'm not going to, if he was here, sure, I would do something. But I'm not going to dwell on it. You know, it's, I don't want to forgive him. Mm. I just want him to serve his time and, and be punished. Carl, thank you so much for sharing with us again this morning. We appreciate it and give the whole family our best. You're quite welcome. We'll be right back.